Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Spectrum Wi-Fi 6 router and modem. Really easy and simple guys. So the first thing you need to do is you need to connect the modem, right? So this is the back of the modem and this is the cable hole. So you go ahead and connect the coaxial cable to the cable outlet and the, the adapter, okay, the power supply adapter for the modem, you're going to plug into the battery hole. And then this one, this end, you want to put it into the electrical outlet. And then what you need to do is you need to connect the router to the modem. So this is what you do, guys. So once it's connected to the power source, you take the Ethernet cable, you connect it to the modem, and connect the other end to the Internet port on the back of the Wi-Fi router. So this is the end of the back of the modem. This is the back of the Wi-Fi router. Connect these. And then what you can go ahead and do is you can wait for the Wi-Fi status on the front of the router to turn blue or green. So this may take, you know, up to 10 minutes. And if the light doesn't turn on, just unplug the modem and router, plug in the modem and allow it to restart. Give it like two to five minutes and then plug in the router. The Wi-Fi status light on the front of the router should basically turn blue or green within 10 minutes then what you need to do guys you need to connect a device to your wireless network so what's going to happen guys uh, at the back of the wi-fi router label you should see your default wi-fi network name and password so just open the wi-fi settings on your device you know smartphone laptop tablet whatever streaming device you have select the default wi-fi network name for your spectrum router and just input the password and then you can go ahead and connect really easy and simple guys and then just go ahead and activate your equipment. So you want to visit this URL from your smartphone computer and click on get started and just follow the instructions. You just want to make sure you have your account number, primary phone number and service zip code available to you. And this information, you usually find it on your shipping letter or store receipt. So I hope you found this guide helpful. And if you did, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing guys. Too frequently asked questions and I'll see you in the next one.